Greetings, Scott here again with another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, show you how to hook up dual external monitors to a Lenovo Yoga uh, or really any other laptop. I think you need USB 3.0 is really the only requirement. <clears throat> so I have uh, this is my little uh, Lenovo 11s Yoga. Uh, it's got the third gen Haswell. Anyway, I don't need to go through the uh, details of it, but um, the first thing I've done is, uh, you know, this is a fantastic laptop because it's size, it's 11 and a half inches, I take it on airplanes, um, I do all my work on it, and I flip it around when I'm bored, and I watch movies. Um, <clears throat> I love this laptop, this is fantastic. I don't want two desktops, uh, I, don't know, I, uh, I don't want two computers at my house, so what I've done is uh, uh, set up <clears throat> this so that I can uh, turn this into my desktop solution at home and then can be my travel solution on the road. <clears throat> so the first thing I have done is, uh, let me uh, just fold this up here and put this out of the way. The first thing I've done is I've built a uh, holder for my laptop. Now I could use my laptop monitor as one of my um, monitors, but I've actually set up two external monitors. I prefer those. I don't like the 11 S's. Uh, so it's just a little too small. I have bigger monitors. I have 19 and 27 inch monitors I think so uh, so what I've done is I've built a little holder for my laptop this is just uh, two pieces of um, particle board that I bought at Home Depot I saw them out I um, screwed them together at a 90 degree angle and then I uh, put some spray glue on it and I put uh, just some cheap fabric over it, just something that was smooth and wouldn't scratch the laptop so it's really lightweight weighs almost nothing and so what I do is I take my um, laptop and I just slide it right in there and let me just kind of give you the profile view here it's just it's real lightweight uh, I can set it here if I want you know I, I put some decals on my laptop so I'm kind of a dork um, but uh, you know you can just slide it right here out of the way it has a real small profile it takes up almost no room and so that's my solution that's my holder for my laptop while I'm at home and then the next thing I need to do is hook it up to two external monitors. So for that, I need another piece of hardware. And uh, for that, I bought the Lenovo um, USB 3.0 docking station. And I think it cost about, it was, I think it was around a hundred bucks. Um, I bought, I bought it about three months ago. So anyway, it's, uh, let me see if I can get, make sure I get this in the video here. Um, in the front, it has a uh, two USB 3.0 adapters you can tell by the way if you don't know and I didn't know this at the time if you don't know what USB 3.0 is it's blue so um, that's how you tell the difference between USB 2.0 1.0 and 3.0 is you look for the blue uh, part of the of the connector so there these are both 3.0 uh, this is for a headset <clears throat> and then on the back is the meat and the potatoes uh, let me see if I can get this in the light that's my speaker Um, so what I have here hooked up are two uh, DVI cables uh, hooked up to two external monitors. You can, I did have a VGA monitor connected up uh, and there's a VGI to DV, a VGA to DV, DVI, I can't even talk, uh, adapter you can get. Uh, a lot of times they just come with, the, with them these days. Um, and uh, then I also have a uh, wireless uh, keyboard that I have hooked up, so I'll plug that into one of the slots. There's a uh, several USB slots on the back, and then I have a separate one for my mouse because um, I use a glass desktop, and uh, I needed a special mouse that runs on um, glass. So I have um, just this little nub and this little transmitter. Uh, a trick that I found, by the way, uh, this little transmitter uh, doesn't broadcast very far and I have trouble when my mouse is clear over on the other side of my desk. So a little trick that I found is I've bought a USB extension cable and uh, what I do is I plug in the little transmitter to the uh, receiving end of the extension cable the other end here and then what I found is I actually just hang this, believe it or not, I just hang it down on the ground and my um, my mouse, my mouse's reception is just all over the place. So that that's my solution. Uh, I have a power cable I need to plug in, and um, and then this is the actual piece that will connect up to my laptop, the other end here. So I plug that in, 
and then I'm good to go. Uh, you, there is an optional Ethernet cable, but I'm using wireless uh, on my laptop. So my laptop's connected directly to my wireless and then through a USB 3.0 for my monitors and my keyboard. Uh, and then also my speakers. I actually do have a, a surround sound system that I have connected and I just connect that right up here to the front. So, so there it is. Let me zoom out again. Uh, there is my ThinkPad 3.0. Uh, docking station and then let me just connect it to my laptop and the way I do that is via the uh, the blue USB 3.0 connection over here on this side so I'll plug that in and now I'm ready to go so now let me take you over to the setup here so here's the mouse here's the keyboard and there are my dual monitors. Now, you'll notice nothing's happened. Uh, there is a trick with the Lenovo. You either have to plug in the docking station while the laptop is open, uh, and then the video will tra transfer, and then you can close your laptop. Uh, because and it depends on what, what you have set to do when you close your laptop. Mine goes to sleep when I close my laptop. I think that's the most common setting. So a trick that I found is uh, I'll notice the power light is blinking in the back. We'll see if we can get you to see this. Maybe you can't see it. It's right here. It's blinking. The trick I found is I, I have to open my laptop just a hair. It doesn't seem to harm the laptop. And I push the button and then I just close it again. So I just like spread it open, push the button and let it go. And then the light is no longer blinking. In this case it was. Okay, now it's no longer blinking. It's a, a, it's, it's a bit of a finesse. That's the only kludgy part of this whole solution. And now we come over here. And we wait. Oh, I have to, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to, because I unplugged it, there is a power button also on the 3.0. So you have to turn on the power button. You'll get a red light right here. You'll hear the everything moving over. And now we have a connection. So let me go ahead and, uh, I think it's still trying to connect here. My mouse takes a minute. Let me just go ahead and sign in. If I can type the right password. Okay, so here's my desktop. Um, now, the next tutorial I will set up right after this is how to. Uh, what? Oh, one thing you'll notice is that it's a it's a it's dual screen, but it's it's uh it's replicating the 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 desktop. So in other words, so I basically have one desktop twice. Uh, so I'm going to do another tutorial on how to split this into two desktops. But I just wanted to show the hookup. Uh, the next tutorial will be coming immediately after this on how to do uh, to split into two separate desktops. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.